Ryan. So I wanted to review the question you asked. So you said our formula is three sodium hydroxide in aqueous solution plus um, one mole of, or the equation is one mole of phosphoric acid in aqueous solution yields Na3PO4 in aqueous solution and three moles of liquid water. And our enthalpy for this delta H is negative 173.7 kilojoules. You also said that we have 31.2 milliliters of 0.45 molar of sodium hydroxide. And you said we have 65.4 milliliters of 0.088 molar of phosphoric acid. Okay, so I'd like to do this in steps. So our first step is to find the number of moles. So we do this for both our sodium hydroxide and our phosphoric acid, our two reactants that we are given. So first for sodium hydroxide. So... Um, we have 31.2 milliliters times one liter in 1,000 milliliters, or is 1,000 milliliters, and then times molarity, which is moles over liters, so 0.045 moles over one liter. That gives us this number right here. Of course, you could do this in scientific notation just for finite numbers. I personally prefer to write it all out. Okay, and then for phosphoric acid. Same thing for 65.4 milliliters, 1,000 mils in one liter, 0 0.088 moles in one liter. That gives us this value for moles of phosphoric acid. All right, step two, we find the limiting reactant. I kind of took a shortcut on this. Of course, you can find another video or answer on how to find a limiting reactant, but I just took the quick shortcut of knowing that we have three moles of we need three moles of NaOH, three times the amount of NaOH that we need for phosphoric acid. So I multiplied our molarity of phosphoric acid times three. That's 0 0.017. And that is more than we actually have of sodium hydroxide. So we know that sodium hydroxide is limiting. There are other ways to find this. This was just a quick shortcut that I like to take. Our third step is to calculate delta H. So what we're gonna do is put our moles of sodium hydroxide, because that's our limiting reactant, times our delta H over three moles of, because we have a three in coefficient in front of our NaOH, and that gives us negative 0 0.0813 kilojoules. I hope this helped.